All right, so no one has done a tutorial on this, but basically the whole point of this tutorial is to show you how to fix this issue. Give it a moment to load. This, unable to load index mesh. So, what is the what does the problem mean? Well, basically, the index mesh file, or also known as the .im file for the model, is well basically broken, meaning that the model will not work. Now, there is a way that you can do it, but there's an easier solution. Now, you might be wondering, how we're gonna do this? Well, first, we we need these ingredients. We need the model that is broken. For, well, for my case, I'm gonna use Métis Wendell. We're gonna also need, well, trains. And we also need IM Editor. Now, this... This is only gonna work for trains or computers, but like if you're using trains Android, then it's not gonna work properly. Unless if you have an emulator, then it will work. Now, let's get straight to the point. So, first thing you wanna do is right click on the model, edit, edit and explore. I should probably also mention this this only happens under trains and era. Like, the mod, there will be no issues with like, this issue will not exist on trains and era enough. But like this might occur on trains 12 or below. Anyway, let's get back to the main point. So we're going to like right click on the asset, edit, edit and explore. And then we should have all of this open. Now we're gonna go into the asset body folder. And we're gonna open the index mesh. I already have IAM editor installed. So there should be no problem. So what you're gonna, going to do is we're going to look for the material that doesn't have a material type. You want to check every single material to see if it has a material type. Sometimes you may not see the full username, but you could just either do that or this. You want to check every single material. And you may notice that there are some that are uh, broken. Which, what you want to do is, for example, if it has EMB metal, then you set it to reflect. But if it doesn't have any EMB metal, then you can set it to one text. But like, if it doesn't have a certain texture, then you switch it to no text. So, I've already fixed up two materials that I've noticed that are broken. I'm just gonna keep on looking for all these materials until it's all completely fixed. You want to keep on doing this until the model is completely working. Now, this is only an example I'm using, which it wouldn't always have broken materials, but what I do suggest doing is selecting, selecting a material type. You want to do this with every material that doesn't have a material type. Which will take a while, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it in the end. Which, keep in mind, not every model has this kind of material issue. Like, for example, tank, the Tangy City of Churro. Okay, now here's the problem. Now here's the main issue. So, you can see that at the end, there's no kind of material type. Which, in that case, we're going to select the type. I concern that it has the empty metal, we're going to select reflect. You want to make sure that it has the perfect material name and type. Because if it's not correct, then it's not going to work properly. Now, once you fix all, all materials, we're going to go into File and click Save. And I can close IM Editor and close the folder itself. Then we can submit all the edits by pressing Control N. Well, for me it's Commit, but like... I mean, it doesn't matter how you save it, as long as it's saved. And there you go. Now there's no issues. Now we're gonna open the game and see if the model works. And look at that, the model works now. 
See, it was easy. There are many methods that you can do, but I recommend doing this method because it's way more faster. Now, I hope this tutorial will be very helpful for future people who want to or fix all their models if they have broken index mesh files. This can also work for any kind of version of trains that's not tame or up. This can also work for trains Android as well. Though, yet again, this is not a trains Android tutorial now, is it? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, I hope this tutorial is very helpful, like I said. And let me know if this works for any of y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.